Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today we are gonna be talking about the new makeup releases, things that have been sneak peeked and or launched by now. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments section. Even things that I don't mention today, let me know about new things that are piquing your interest or things that you just do not want at all, things you're not interested in. Let me know. I'm gonna link everything down in the description box, all the information that I can get, prices, release date, all that jazz. And all that jazz. As well as everything that's on my face. Let's get to it. I have to say, the thing that I'm the most excited about this week is the ColourPop and Alice in Wonderland collection. I was so pumped when I saw like a little sneak peek of this before they actually announced it. I don't know where I saw it, but I think the packaging is so adorable. This was one of my favorite Disney movies when I was a kid growing up. And I think they did a really good job. I mean, they tend to do a really good job in my opinion. That's my opinion! With their Disney collabs. I think the palette looks really, really pretty. I am a little fearful, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying not to be judgmental, but I feel like sometimes with their palettes with square pans, I don't love the formula. From my experience, unless things have changed, I feel like a lot of the formulas are the same depending on the size of the pans. Does that make sense? With all of that aside, I like the color story. I like that you've got couple pops and neutrals. You can get a neutral look, which I always love, but then you've got some more springy tones. You've also got some deeper tones and you've got some pastels. So I think the palette itself looks really beautiful and the packaging on everything looks so adorable. And then there's the Pure Madness Overnight Lip Mask. I at first thought this was a lippy scrub and I was kind of sad because I'm not interested in picking up one of the lippy scrubs at all whatsoever. I don't like lip scrubs but a lip mask I can get down with. And I love this little mushroom packaging. How adorable. I thought that was so cute. It also comes with three shadow sticks, which I'm not really interested in, but I do like the colors. And then two lip kits, which I don't need more red lipsticks and I don't like the Lux Gloss formula. So I'm not gonna pick up one of those. And then I like that they're coming out with this little like pocket watch-esque hairbrush. I think that's a cute idea and just something different. And two blushes, a red blush and a pink blush. So I am definitely planning to pick up the eyeshadow palette and maybe one of the blushes, maybe both blushes. It does release in Ulta on Sunday. So I'm gonna go in store to Ulta to pick this up. So let me know if you wanna see a video on that. If you want like a two looks video, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Or if I just should throw it into like a testing new makeup video, but. This looks adorable. I, I really like this collection a lot. Let me know your thoughts. Do you love it? Are you over Disney collabs? Cause if you are, I get it. I understand. It's kind of overkill, but I do like this one. I have to admit. It did already launch on the ColourPop website, I believe on Thursday and it is coming to Ulta on Sunday. Like I just said. Another thing that I thought was kind of cute is Benefit is releasing the Hula Secret Oasis, which is four duos with a bronzer and a blush. I think this is really cute. It's available in Europe now, so not in America yet, but there are, like I said, four different colorways with four different depths of their Hula bronzer, and then each palette has a different blush. The one that I would be interested in is just the traditional Hula bronzer. I really like that bronzer a lot. I think it's great. And I love the blush that they put with it, Shelly. It's like a peachy color. Oof. I could be coerced into picking one of these up. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm. It's a maybe from me. It doesn't say anything besides it's coming soon to other countries. I will keep my eye out. Let me know what you think about this. Do you like Hula bronzer? I, I really like it. And I've not tried their blushes. I think I did own one years and years ago, but it's been a really long time, but I do like the look of this. Something I don't like. And if you like it, that's okay. Like we don't have to agree. It's totally fine with me. Tarte is coming out with the Maracuja Juicy Shift Blush. Now, when I first saw this, like just looked at the picture, I was like, oh my goodness, how cool is this? They're coming out with cream blushes, yay! <laughs> and then I, I kept reading. So they're $30 each, fine. $32 bundle with a brush, that's pretty good. Four shades. And then it's shifts to pH balance to create a custom hue. <laughs> Who's asking for all these pH changing things? It's not me. We're all gonna get pink. That's what's gonna happen. So not interested. Let me know if 
you are though, I'd, I'd be curious to know your thoughts on it. Um, it is available now. I will link it down below. So there is a new brand at Target. I've never heard of this brand before. I just was watching Aniela Kanikvist's new re makeup releases video and she was saying that she saw it at her Target. Listen, I live in the sticks. So my Target gets nothing new. I was surprised when they had a ColourPop section. <laughs> really surprised. So I've not seen this at my Target. It's a brand called Thread and they're coming out with two complexion products that are only $8 each, which is great. So Meet Thread Beauty, a black owned woman led beauty brand sets out to create accessible, affordable, multi-use and multi-benefit beauty products for everyone to be available to freely express themselves unapologetically. So it looks like there is a stick foundation slash concealer and a liquid foundation slash concealer. They both come in 26 shades. And it looks like the stick one says weightless cream complexion stick delivers long wearing medium to full buildable coverage and sets to a satin matte finish. And the liquid one is a multi-use concealer that sets to a second skin like finish. A little goes a long way coverage. So I guess that means full coverage. If I see this in my Target or at a Target that I happen to go to, I would consider picking up one of these. Um, I like that the range is, it's more towards the deep, medium deep side, which I think is great because let me know if you are on the medium to deep side, but I feel like probably at the drugstore, there's not as many options. So I love that they're including a lot of medium to deep shades here. So I might peep it if I see it at Target, I may pick it up. Let me know if you've seen this at your Target and let me know if you've picked it up. What are your thoughts? Okay, this collection looks so cute. I really, really am interested in it. So Martine Cosmetics, they are coming out with the Moola collection. The palette looks gorgeous, right up my alley. Lots of neutrals, some warm tones, some greens. Super, super cute. You're also getting two liquid lipsticks and three liners. Um, looks gorgeous. I've never ordered from Martine Cosmetics before. Let me know if you have in your experience. I have seen a couple people here on YouTube use their products before. Even the packaging, like with the, the faux snake skin, very, very cute. And the outside, I think the outside packaging is like a credit card. Love that. I think that's hilarious. So it is launching April 11th, which has already occurred on their website. So I will link it down below. We've got another cream cheek product. Well, this is a lip, cheek and base enhancer. Let's see what this means. So Makeup Revolution is coming out with the Balm Blush Lip Cheek and Base Enhancer. The no makeup makeup looks for the perfect XX look. Enhance your complexion with a subtle blushing glow and a moisturizing formula. It looks like a slightly pigmented glossy balm thing. Not really my deal. It is available now for $9.96. It comes in three shades. If you like this type of product, maybe it would interest you. It is very affordable. I wish they weren't so glossy and balmy. Like if they were true cream blushes, normal cream blushes, I would love the shade all the way to the right. Burnt Orange Charisma. That looks really beautiful, but it's a little too glossy for me. I have pretty oily skin, especially now it's getting warmer where I live. It's like in the 90s already. Here in Florida, we go from winter to summer. That's it. We skip right to it. So. This is gonna be a no from me, but let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know if you're gonna pick it up. Okay, here's something I'm confused about and maybe someone can help me out here because I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Another new product from Tarte. So this is the new freckle pen, but it's it's in a spoolie form. So I don't do faux freckles. I've, I've never done them actually, uh, just not my thing. But anytime I've ever seen a freckle pen, it looks almost like a very, very tiny little liquid liner tip, you know what I'm saying? How would you use a spoolie for fro freckles? Can someone please help me? I, I don't understand. It is available now at $22 each. I love this account wrote, run to tart.com before they sell out. Are that many people asking for this type of product? Maybe you are, and if you are, let me know. Someone please educate me. This is a collab I can get down with. Jamba Juice and Color Department, which is a nail polish brand. They are collabing. Look how cute. First of all, looking at the promo photos, I want a smoothie. And then second, I love the bottle, like the top of the bottle that has two like little dollops on it. I think that is so cute. So it is available for pre-order now. Guess you have to buy them in a set, which kind of is a bummer, but $29.99. The set includes Mango A Go Go, 
which is the bright yellow, the go-getter, which is the green, razzmatazz, which is the berry pink, and peach perfection, which is the pinky orange. I love this. I think it's so, so fun, so cute. I love bright cream nail polishes for spring and summer. They're my favorite. So these polishes are super pretty. I've never even heard of this nail polish brand before, Color Department. If you have, let me know your thoughts because I could be coerced. Like if their polishes are good, 30 bucks for four shades isn't that bad if they're good polishes. So let me know. I think it's really cute. And another collab that I think is adorable nail polishes is Lights Lacquer is collabing with Polly Pocket. Listen, I was born in the 80s. I love Polly Pocket. I remember having Polly Pocket, super nostalgic. Two of them are creams. Two of them look like they're more metallic. Kathleen Lights always does a great job with her collections at Lights Lacquer. I do own quite a few polishes from Lights Lacquer. Actually, what I'm wearing on my toes is Lights Lacquer. I'm not gonna show it to you because there's some weirdos on the internet. But I think the polishes last a pretty good amount of time. They're nothing spectacular in terms of longevity in my experience, but they're good. They're good polishes. I'm not gonna pick this up. I do think it's adorable though. Really, really cute. Let me know your thoughts on it. It is available now, so I will link it down below. Unearthly Cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. I did purchase it. it it's available for pre-order, so it's not going to be shipped until May 2nd, but it is available for pre-order now. It's the Don't Be Jelly palette. So they basically redid the Don't Be Jelly and put mattes in it because it was an all shimmer palette before, and they created some new shades. I did watch Amanda, who is the owner of Unearthly Cosmetics. She did a live. I will link it down below if you're interested, if you missed it and she swatched the shades and they look so beautiful. So I had to buy it. Listen, I had to. It is $60, but I do have an affiliate code with Unearthly Cosmetics. It's Rachel. If you wanna save 10% off, you are welcome to use the code and it is affiliated. So thank you so much if you do use the code. I'm so excited. And I did actually buy uh, Dead of Night. I did recently get it in the mail and it has the smaller pans, which I'm so pumped about. And this one also looks like it has smaller pants. So as soon as I get this in, I will use it in some capacity on the channel. Let me know if you picked it up. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know your thoughts. The day that I'm filming this, which is hopefully the day before you see it, today is the start of the Sephora sale for Rouge members and Sephora collection is 30% off for the entire length of the sale for everybody. And the Sephora collection just released new cheek products. So it's the Sephora Colorful Face Powders Blush, bronze, highlight, and contour. Although I'm a little confused how these are contours. They look like blushes to me. An intensely pigmented blush with a super fine texture. Right, so blush. Uh, medium coverage. I've, I've never heard coverage claim on a powder blush before, but anyway. Um, they're $14 each. They are available now. These look pretty. They look glowy, which I'm not a huge, like super glowy cheek person. I do like blushes that have like a slight sheen to them. But these ones look quite glowy, but they have a ton of shades, which I think is awesome. Like I said, did I say they're $14 each? They are available now. I will link them down below. Um, yeah, this came out of nowhere for me, but I'm glad that they introduced them right before the sale so that if you did want to pick one up, you can get, you know, $3 off, $3, $4 off, which is great. Okay, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is the new cream blushes from Sigma. So these look really beautiful. I think the colors are super, super pretty. There are four shades, they're $30 each, but Sigma does a lot, a lot of sales and they have affiliate codes, which I don't have one, but you can easily find one if you want to. These look really pretty. Key ingredients are jojoba oil, moisturizer, softens and smooths the skin, rose hip seed oil, brightens complexion and helps even out skin tone and vitamin E, which hydrates the skin and locks in moisture. It's making me feel like it's probably going to be quite like dewy with all those oils in there. They look stunning though. I think all four colors look gorgeous. If I were to pick one up, I would either pick up Coral Dawn or Pashmina. Those both look so pretty. These are really pretty. Just wanna let you know about them. I'll link them down below. They are available now. All right, and that is it for this new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on any of these new makeup releases or anything that I didn't mention. Please let me know your thoughts on them. I always love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.